Nebraska 74, Wisconsin 63, Badgers suffer mid-winter meltdown. That is the best way to describe Wisconsin's 13th loss of the season, including its 7th in Big Ten play. UW led by as many as 9 points in the first half. By 11 with 10 minutes left but collapsed down the stretch and saw Nebraska rally for a 74-63 victory Monday night at the Kohl Center. The Badgers held a 55-44 lead with 10 minutes left after a dunk by Khalil Iverson but Nebraska closed the game with a 32-8 run. Thanks in part to a suffocating 1-3-1 zone and double teams on Ethan Happ. UW had two baskets, both by Iverson, in the final 9 minutes 59 seconds. I thought we were too tentative at times, UW coach Greg Gard said. And I felt from the sideline that we let what wasn't going well for us offensively affect our defense. We were pretty good, defensively, the first 30 minutes, that was the biggest thing. The inability to score, or missing free throws, affected what we were doing defensively. For us to be so good and then to have our offense, or lack thereof, impact how we were tuned in defensively is disappointing. Box score, Nebraska 74, Wisconsin 63. Consider these numbers. UW made just 2 of 13 field goal attempts, 4 of 10 free throw attempts and committed 5 of its 13. Turnovers in the final 9-13 as Nebraska roared back. Brutal. Meanwhile, Nebraska hit 6 of 10 field goal attempts and 18 of 21 free throw attempts over the final 9-45. We got out of our sets offensively and decided to go spread motion and see if we could get the guys playing off each other, Nebraska coach Tim Miles said. We got the ball into the lane and got to the foul line. And at the same time, we went 1-3-1 and decided to be more aggressive. Trap a little bit just to try and change the momentum of the game. I thought those things worked hand in hand and you could see our guys growing in confidence. UW, 10-13, 3-7 Big Ten, suffered its third consecutive loss and sixth in seven games to fall. Into a tie for 10th place with Minnesota, 14-9, 3-7. The Badgers host Northwestern, 13-10, 4-6, at 7.30 p.m. Thursday. The Wildcats suffered a 58-47 loss Monday at Michigan. UW entered the season 8-2 against Nebraska since the Cornhuskers joined the Big Ten but dropped both games this season. Nebraska, 17-8, 8-4, completed a difficult stretch of four games in eight days. With three of those games on the road. They have won five of their last six games. Forwards James Palmer Jr. and Isaac Copeland combined to score 30 points and hit 10 of 21 shots. In Nebraska's 63-59 victory earlier this month, they killed UW again Monday. Palmer Jr. scored 21 of his 28 points after halftime, including 16 in the final 9.45. Copeland scored 10 of his 17 points after the break. They combined to hit 14 of 28 shots and Palmer Jr. hit 11 of 12 free throws and Nebraska finished 24 of 28 from the line, 85.7%. Palmer did what he wanted at certain points, specifically when they needed it, guard said. Either they were drawing a foul or he was able to get to the rim. At one point he went right to the rim without any resistance in transition. Glenn Watson Jr. added 15 points and 5 assists for Nebraska. He hit 7 of 8 free throw attempts. 
Hap led UW with 25 points and grabbed 11 rebounds but he didn't have a field goal in the last. 14-21. Hap hit his first college three-pointer in the first half and finished one of four from beyond the arc but hit just eight of 19 free throw attempts. UW hit just 16 of 31 free throw attempts 51.6%. We got some looks at the rim, myself especially, said Hap, who hit one of six free throws and missed all four field goal attempts over the final 9-13. That is just where I have to come up with those plays and make the basket. Iverson was the only other UW player in double figures. He finished with 13 points and 5 rebounds but he missed a shot at the rim with UW down. 64-59 Like Milwaukee Journal Sentinel Sports on Facebook for the latest Wisconsin sports updates. Right in your news feed. Visit JS Sports on Facebook. UW let Nebraska back into the game in less than a minute after Everson's dunk pushed the lead to 55 to 44 Nebraska scored 3 baskets in a span of 56 seconds all in the lane to cut the deficit to 55 to 50 Guard called a timeout with 842 to settle his players but the move did not work Hap missed inside and Palmer Jr scored on a drive Jordy Shimonga, playing with four fouls, blocked Hap inside and Hap then fouled Watson Jr. With 7.28 left. Watson Jr. hit both free throws to cut the deficit to 55-54 and the Cornhuskers battled back to even at 58-58 on a basket by Copeland with 5.24 left. After a UW turnover, Palmer Jr. scored on a drive for a 60-58 lead. Hap was called for an offensive foul and then picked up his third with 3.54 left. Battling for a rebound. That sent Copeland to the free throw line and he made both for a 62-58 lead. Hap was fouled with 2.13 left. Just 6 of 13 from the line, Hap missed both shots. Palmer Jr. drew a foul on a drive with 155 left and drained both attempts for a 64-58 lead. The run was 20-3 and UW was reeling. Iverson was fouled but hit just one of two free throws, leaving UW at 14 of 26. Nebraska failed to score but Iverson missed a shot at the rim. Watson Jr. was fouled in the battle for the loose ball and hit one of two free throws with 108 left for a 65-59 lead. Hap was fouled with 59.9 seconds left but made just one of two attempts. Iverson fouled Copeland battling for the rebound and Copeland and hit one of two attempts for a 66-60 lead with 55 seconds left. Hap made just one of two free throws with 55 seconds left and Palmer Jr. hit two attempts to push the lead to 68-61. A turnover by Davison with 35.7 seconds left sent the UW fans streaming from the Cole Center. The collapse was complete. That first 30 minutes, that is how we should play all the time. Said senior forward Aaron Mosh, who had three points and two rebounds. And the last 10 is obviously how we shouldn't play. If we put a complete game together, we're walking out of here in a lot different mood.